to slime time. Today we're going to make a few slimes. Let's start off with a butter slime. First we're going to use our Elmer's glue. You can use clear glue, you can use white glue, you can use whatever glue you want. Just make sure it has to be PVA. I'm going to add some glue and that should be good. After I add some glue, I'm going to add some shaving cream. Most of the time you use shaving cream to make fluffy slime, but I like adding shaving cream into all my stuff because it gives it a really nice like fluffy and nice texture. Then we're going to combine that all together until it looks like whipped cream. Mm. But this is not edible, so don't eat it. After you combine that, we're going to uh, add some activator. And with activator, you can use all different types. You can use borax, which I don't recommend because it's not healthy for your skin. And it's not good for you because you can get burns from it. You can use saline and baking soda, which I'm using today. And once it looks like this, you're going to go ahead and add in your activator. Or you can use Stop Flow or Tide. Anything's really fine. But yeah. Add in some baking soda. That should be nice. Now you have to combine it really, really well. And after you combine it nicely, you're going to add in some saline solution. A little bit at a time. Then you're going to mix together till it's all combined. It's going to start like sticking off of your bowl. That's how it, you know it's ready to go. Like, like don't you don't want to overactivate your slime because if you overactivate it, it's going to be really hard. And who wants the hard slime? If you underactivate it, it's going to be super sticky. And no one wants a sticky slime. So you're just going to mix on up. And it can like bubble up. Those bubbles are like air bubbles. And if you notice with some slime, um, it can like, if you let it sit for a few days, it can like clear up. And that's really cool. We're almost done. For butter slime, I like to leave slime a tiny bit sticky because sometimes your slime can like, the Daiso clay or clay you add can be like, um, either like may overactivate your slime or make your, like, underactivate it. So we're just gonna keep on mixing until it's nicely activated. I think I wanna add some more shaving cream to make it really nice and fluffy. Can shake it up, shake, 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 shake it up. And then you can add some in. Shaving cream gives your nice, like a, your slime a nice, like, creamy feeling, and I really like it. It's also really stretchy, and it's a little sticky. We're just going to mix it all together. Mixing, mixing. And you, for the clay for your butter slime, if you thought we were going to add butter to it, you're wrong. We're going to add clay. We're go I'm going to use soft Daiso clay. I like using Daiso clay because it's like really soft. And it gives like this really nice feeling to you. But you can use some other clays. Like you can use Model Magic. But Model Magic's not really the best clay. Um, I recommend using Daiso. And it makes some really nice slime. But um, yeah. So after you open up it, you're going to take it all out. And here it is. It's just like a block of soft clay. You're going to put it into your slime, and you're going to mix it all together. See, it crumbles really nicely, and it gives it a nice texture. Whoa. And it's a really pretty color. They come in dyed colors, so if you don't feel like dyeing your slime before, you can always dye it after. So once that comes all together, you have a nice silky, and surprisingly, it's not sticky, activated butter slime. You can do some really cool things with it. You can spread it on the table, and it spreads like butter. So cool. Well, since we're done with that, we're going to pop it in the container, 
And there you go. On to the next slime. We're gonna make a jelly slime. It's basically like a cloud slime, but it's a little different. You're gonna add in your clear glue. That's enough. After you add in your clear glue, you're gonna add in, we can add in some stuff flow. You're gonna pour it in. But the thing about soft flow, it gives your slime a really foggy. It makes it, instead of being crystal clear, super foggy. And sometimes you don't want a foggy slime because you want a crystal clear slime. But I don't mind if it's foggy because it's a jelly slime. And like, it, it could be a little foggy because no one can really tell. You're going to keep on adding it in slowly and slowly until it combines. Also, you're gonna realize they're getting some air bubbles in here, and that's okay. All you have to do if you don't want your air bubbles to be there, you have to let it sit in an air tight container, which is basically a normal container, and then you have to let it sit for like a week, and all the bubbles are gonna start evaporating, but don't touch it, because then you're gonna get more air bubbles in, and that's not good. So right now, here's our clear slime. I'm still kneading in the activator a little bit. With clear slime, it's really tricky because you have to knead it in. Because if you don't knead in the activator, it's just going to be this blob and it's not going to be stretchy. It's not going to be as cool as it can be. So you're going to finish kneading that in. It's probably going to get a little sticky. So you can go back in your bowl and get some activator. And then keep on kneading it to work out. Gonna get big muscles from this slime workout. It looks really pretty and really cool, but don't worry if your slime turns white, cause that just means there's so much air bubbles, and it's okay. Like you're gonna, if you put it in a container, everything will be all right. But for jelly slimes, you wanna overactivate your slime a little bit, cause you're gonna be adding something called instant snow, which is basically polymer which is like, you can like make snow, and it's really cool. And if you saw Slime Time 2, you can go ahead and see that. I made live folded cloud slime. It was super cool. After that, you're just gonna keep on kneading it, and kneading it, until like you have like an over-activated-ish, like until it's like definitely not sticky to your hands, because if it's sticky to your hand, it's going to be like really hard to play with and you're going to have struggle. Then if you add in your instant snow, it's going to melt everywhere. So once you finish with your slime, which I am, I'm going to go ahead and grab my instant snow. So here I got my instant snow and I'm going to gonna put, put some of it in a bowl and there's a, some activator in it. And it's fine because it's sort of like like making sure you're like the instant snow won't um, like melt your slime. Then you're gonna add in some water and you can use whatever water. Just have a bottle. And if you look, can you see? It just grew it's up to there. I'll add a little more. And it's super duper cool. You want it to be like nice fluffy. You don't want to add too much water that's clear and it could be like snow. Next, you're gonna take your slime that you put aside and put it into your uh, instant snow. And then you're just gonna knead it in, knead it in. And if you add too much, it can turn into a cloud cream, which is another type of cloud slime. And if you add too little, I have no idea what would happen. If you add too much, it would turn into a cloud slime. But all you need is a little bit, and there it is. You just have to set it away in a container. Next slime. Okay, so we're gonna be popping balloons. It's like this fun challenge where like you pop balloons and you make slime. I'm just gonna choose a random balloon. I'll choose this pink one, and I'm gonna pop it. And it's supposed to make slime. Oh! Okay, that was glue. And it's like this really.
really pretty pink glue and it has like pigment in it. It's really pretty. I really like it. And so now I've got glue all over me. But that's fine. We'll move on to the next ingredient. I'm going to add another pink balloon. And it sounds really cool. And then, ready? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Now we have flown beads. They're little like beads where you put in slime. I'm going to pop open another one. Um, I want to do this red one. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh! What is that? It's glow-in-the-dark glue! Look how pretty it is. It's a glow-in-the-dark glue from the new Elmer's brand. And it's really pretty. Yeah. I really like it. We're going to do two more. I want to do... This blue one. Three, two, one. Oh, nothing happened. Oh! Okay. We have some Daiso clay. That's going to be helpful for the end so we can make a nice butter slime. I'm going to add one more. Hmm. I think I'm going to do this black one. It looks super cool. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! What was this? Oh, it's glue. It's more glue. Wow, didn't know it was going to get glue. Oh, it's purple clear glue that Elmer makes. That's cool. Going to put that to the side. And then we're going to mix it all together. Gonna take a nice spoon we have here, and we're just gonna combine everything that we got in the bowl, and it's gonna turn glow in the dark, which is super cool. And it turned into like this really small foam slime, and it's like a okay color if you guys can sort of see. Um, now we're gonna activate. I'm adding some stock flow. Well, that was a lot. But also, guys, if you overactivate your slime, you can add in so many different things. You can add in something called glycerin. You can add in lotion, which can tend to make your slime jiggly. Or water, too. Water can definitely make your slime jiggly. And then there's something called hair gel, which basically everybody uses. You're going to add in hair gel if you overactivate it. Well, looks like my slime's coming together. It's a little sticky, but it's still cool. Going to add in some more. And if you guys can see in the slime, there are little pieces of like glitter, and it's super pretty. Oh, there's a piece of a balloon. Oh, well. So you're going to knead it and knead it until it's not sticking to you. And it's the perfect consistency. Gotta just keep on mixing and mixing and kneading. And then we're just gonna mix it back in the bowl because there's still some activator in there. And it's not sticking to the bowl, so it should be good. I gotta knead it. Oh, tight workout! Ha huh, ha! Huh. Yeah. Well, now that your slime is all done, it's really nice. It's a little sticky, but it's fine. It's this purplish color. Purplish pink. It's like a raspberry. We're going to put this one to the side. And next slime. Oh, okay. Do your thing, slime. Do your thing. Okay, I'm going to use the same bowl. Okay. And then... We're gonna put it in. Three, two, one. What was that? Oh no. What was that? Got no idea. Oh, oh, it's lotion. Oh, it's lotion. So we 
we got some lotion, which is going to moisturize our slime. And next we have this really big one. Three, two, one. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, so this is shaving cream. Whole bowl of shaving cream. Yeah, this is going to be an awesome slime. Super fluffy. Okay, next one. I'm going to get a white one. And it sounds like there are beads in it. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> I have, I have stuff all over me. Oh, well. Well, I got some big flow beads, which is nice. And now, the last one, which sounds really interesting, is, I don't know, let's see. Three, two, one. Oh, it did some snow. So now, we're gonna add in some water, cause there's instant snow. And guys, if you want any of this slime, you can make sure to go to Quincy Market so you can buy some. The first one of you guys can get a free slime. Oh wait, there's no glue in this. Oh, could add in some glue. Yeah, glue. You need glue to make slime. If you don't have any, you won't make slime. So make something else. Gotta mix that to get. Oh, there's no activator. What am I doing? Gotta add in some stock flow. Mix this together. And this is gonna be really fluffy. Mix it, mix it. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna mix the slime. I'm gonna add in some more stock flow. I'm gonna add in a little more glue. This stuff is heavy. That should be good. Then we'll go mix, mix, mix. Mix it up. Ooh, it's clumping up. Mix it all together. It's super nice and fluffy. I love fluffy slime. Whoa, this is awesome. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. And it sort of reminds me of like a sand slime, even though there's instant snow, because the instant snow couldn't make a slime, I mean a cloud slime, or a cloud cream, so it's like this weird thing, and it's super cool, oh, it's so, if you could hear it, it sort of like makes sizzling noises, and it's super awesome, so fluffy and thick. But if you guys want to know every single slime I think they created, one of them is fluffy, one's normal, one's clear, one's jiggly, one's butter, one's uh, flown, one's full flown, one's medium flown, one's cloud, one's cloud cream, one's cloud dough, one's, uh, I don't know, cream cheese slime. There's edible slime. There's bright slime. Exactly, bright slime. But there's so many different, oh, there's lotion slime. There's so many different types I can't keep up. And I love slime. I live off the of slime. I just can't keep up. This stuff is so much. So much at all. I can't keep track. There's sizzly slime, yeah. There's everything. You know what, soon there can be bow slime or pizza slime. Why am I adding silly? I'm gonna add in some more stock flow. Whoa. Oh, well. Go mix and mix and knead and knead. There's also rainbow slime, which is really cool. There's fish bowl, there's jelly. There's like everything in the whole world. There's jelly cube even. We just had to add in the cubes. Whoa. 
whoa, this is huge. It's gigantic. The reason why there's some color in it is because um, of the other slime. It left some color. It left some leftovers for us. Because, like, th this was going to be nothing. It couldn't turn into a slime. And what is this? It's slime time, so it has to turn into a slime. So we had to add in the glue. Now it's a dyed slime because of this other thing. But we're going to keep on mixing it oh, yeah. until it's nice, creamy, and like not sticky. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna roll up my sleeves. This stuff is duty. Everyone sells slime. A lot of people do. This is duty. This is hard work. Hard work. Oh gosh. Gonna add in a little more. That's enough. Yeah. But also, some cool things you can do with slime is something called ASMR. But we'll get to that later. Right? Because because we're gonna mix. All the slimes you created together. Let's get started. So first we have our big blob. It's going to be named Blobby. Here's Blobby. Blobby says hi. Blobby also says get out the way. It's time for me to shine. So then here's our Blobby slime. It's really nice. It's a fluffy slash thick. Our next slime is like the ones with like all the glue. Our other slime is the butter. I'm not, I'm going to keep some of this because I really like it. And then the jelly slime. Jelly slime. Now we're going to knead it all together gonna turn into like a really pretty pinkish purplish color you can feel the dice so you can feel the weight it's so heavy 